Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I'm the Instructional Technology Coach for the Peekskill City School District. And in today's video, I'd like to show you two new features of Google Workspace, custom building blocks and collapsible sections. First, we're gonna take a look at custom building blocks. Here is an example of some student work that was submitted via Google Docs. And as the writing teacher, I like to use a particular writing rubric that I created to provide students with some feedback. In this rubric, I just created a simple table. I put my criteria on the left. For the score column, I used the new drop downs feature in Google Workspace so that I can actually give students colored values for their scores. And those drop downs can be found in the insert menu and then drop downs here if you would like to add those. And then on the far right, just another text field where I can give some teacher feedback. Now, if I wanted to use this rubric for every student, I would either have to copy and paste it, possibly clear out the scores and the feedback each time. I might have a separate document that has my writing rubric that I keep open in a separate tab and copy and paste it in each time. But there's now a faster, easier way to do this. So all you have to do is create what you would like to replicate. In this case, it's a rubric, but it could be headers, it could be a lesson plan template, a unit plan template, any template at all that you'd like to reuse. You simply want to highlight that text, right click, and then you'll see a new option for save as custom building block. All we have to do is give this a name. In this case, I'll call it a writing rubric and then click Create. This is going to let me know that I can access this by using the at key on my keyboard, which I will show you in just a moment. So now I'm going to delete this writing rubric and let's say, again, this is a new piece of student work. I've now come into the document. If I want to insert that writing rubric, all I have to do is type the at symbol on my keyboard and then start typing the name, which was writing rubric. And you'll see that this pops up here and I can go ahead and click on it and that writing rubric shows up for me. It now shows up in the default state that I had saved it in, which was no feedback and no score. And I can now insert this anywhere in any document across all of my account. Really helpful feature if you want to save time and have something jump into your document in a particular state. Your custom building blocks will get saved in a custom building blocks folder of your Google Drive. Now you'll see that there's two of them here because I've been using some examples in the background, but what you can do is open these up at any time and you can see your rubric that you created. You can make any tweaks to it if you would like, and then the next time you use this custom building block, it will use the updates that you have from this document here. Next, we're gonna take a look at something called collapsible sections. So here is an example of a rolling agenda that I've created. We have some sections here, one for technology, one for books, and a slightly longer one for supplies. I've just put some checkboxes here using the checkboxes feature at the top of the menu so that I know when I've got all of my different items taken care of. Now, maybe in our meeting we don't want to talk about all of these at the same time, and maybe it's a little bit long of a document. Um, you could think about agendas for department meetings or grade team meetings that might span the entire year, and it can take a long time to scroll through. So as long as these are actually formatted as official headings, which I have here, then what you can do is go to File, Page Setup, and you have to change your document to a pageless document. This only works in pageless mode. And once you click OK, what you'll see now is that we get these little collapsible heading buttons here that we can use to collapse each of these sections. This makes it really nice and clean to look at a document. And if we know, you know what, let's start with talking about the books today. 
we can just expand that one section, talk about what we want to do with our books, and then we can collapse that heading and continue on. Again, this only works in the pageless view. If we switch back to the page mode, which shows page breaks at the end of each page, you'll see that there are no longer those icons on the left. Really nice feature just to clean up your agendas, documents, or anything else you might want to create for students. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching.